What's up, fellas? I am not the expert. Welcome back to the Indianapolis Colts franchise. Sorry it has been so long since I've uploaded this series. I've been taking finals here at Auburn University and I've been very busy. But thankfully, I am now finished with my finals, so now I can focus on YouTube for about a month. If you remember from last episode, we won the wild card round game and we moved on to play the Pittsburgh Steelers in the divisional round, which we will show in this episode. I will say Andrew Luck did not perform that well, but then again, it all comes back to me, so I need to play better, make smarter passes, and generally just call better plays. We've definitely had our fits with the Steelers in the past. They have two of the best players in the game, Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. It's going to be a very high scoring game, mainly because my defense sucks, but we're going to do the best we can on offense to try and balance that out. If we end up losing this game or any game in the playoffs, I will schedule a live stream for the draft and the offseason, all that fun stuff. It's what we did in the 49ers franchise. I had a great time doing that. I hope you guys are excited to do another one. If you want to be updated on that, you can turn notifications on for my YouTube or you can go over to my Twitter and I'll tweet everything out. If we win this game, we will play either the Titans or the Patriots in the AFC Championship but we can't look too far ahead because the Pittsburgh Steelers are definitely a very challenging team to go up against. We have not beat them in this series yet. We got whooped last time we played them, actually. This game will be a chance for redemption and show if we have what it takes to make it to the AFC Championship. Let's grab this win. We do have Perry Riley back. I forgot to mention that, but he's going to help us a lot in this game. He looked like he was down, but we have the football. Opening play, Le'Veon Bell puts the ball on the ground, and we've got it. There's no way the ground did not cause that fumble. It's going to be overturned, but dang, I got excited there for a second. Be prepared for the pass. Oh, he got way too wide open. Gave him the hit stick, though. Our safeties are killing it this season. It's going to be tough containing Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown. Wrap him up. Give him a hit stick. Let's go, boys. Riley wants another hit stick. Jabril Peppers. We're going to get extra user help on the left side to try and contain Antonio Brown. Ah, oh, they got Martavis Bryant wide open. It's a screen. Get there, Vontae Davis. Amazing. He's going to try to scramble out. That was good pass coverage. Way to get the sack, Quincy Wilson. It is cover three. Oh, they're going to go screen pass on third down. That's not going to work out. Jabril Peppers is in there again. That was a great defensive series for us. Time for us to take the field on offense. Oh, no way T.Y. Hilton dropped that. Got ourselves in a tough one, third and 13. I think we might have the running back. We might have Paul Richardson. Let's give Jeremy Hill a chance. He's a running back and he caught it. How did he do that? Over the top. What an amazing play from Jeremy Hill. I had no idea he was so good at catching the ball. Jeremy Hill, the next play. Jeremy Hill for MVP. I'm all amped up now. Let's keep it going. Let's try and go with the corner strike to Josh Doxson. He's open. And he dropped it. Dang it. That killed my mood. Go 75. That was great. Could not have had a better block for my offensive lineman. Great teamwork right there, boys. If we've established anything on my channel, I think you guys already know we should always run the ball in the red zone. And that's what we're going to do here. Like we always do. Marlon Mack giving them the juke. Getting us up to the one yard line. Giving it to the fullback. He's got a touchdown. We've got the lead on the road in Pittsburgh. He's going to, oh, how is he so wide open? Antonio Brown, not able to stay on his feet, but he had nothing but the end zone in front of him. Oh God. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, okay, we got him at the one. We can still hold him off. It is a run. We've got him. Perry Riley's having himself a game. Will they run it in back-to-back -back plays? It looks like it. And John Simon here this time. Third down. We can do this, guys. Let's hold him off. Reggie Raglin with the user play. Bring it up fourth down. What resilience from our defense. Rarely do you see goal line stops from our defense, but I'll take it. This drive will show if we have what it takes. Usually we start off hot, but we can't hold on to it. So we got to keep it going. We got X. We got Ladarius Green for a good chunk of yards. Go up and get that. Josh Doxon, show us what you're about. He's got it. He does nothing but big plays for our team. We have to get rid of it quickly. Got Paul Richardson. There is no one in the middle. 
Oh, he took a shot from Ryan Shea's ear. A part of me wants to fake this, but the smarter thing to do, just take your three points and move on. That's all we gotta do. Hold him to a field goal and we'll be Gucci. They're wasting a lot of time right now. 25 seconds left. They try to cut back to the ball. We got it. He's in bounds. That was a doofus play. 10 seconds left. I'm gonna try to use her in the middle of the field because I, I don't trust anything else. He's got it. We hit him before he's in the end zone. That will end the half. Big time play from Jabril Peppers. Uh-oh. Go, Marlon Mack. Go, go, go. I ran into Jabal Sheard. Dang it. I got too excited and I didn't run correctly. Haven't returned a single kick in this game yet. There's not really many options on third and 25. Just going to do an old-fashioned four verticals. I see X. That's going to be intercepted in the middle of the field. Poor pass. Very, very poor passing decision. Oh my gosh. Got burned. I admit that I messed up on that one, but we can make up for it on our next drive. Andrew Luck's got some room. He's got some pretty good speed. Give this be a touchdown. Oh no, Cockrell. I don't think he's fast enough to get me. Andrew Luck takes it the distance. Nick Marshall, who? Read option still works with my boy Andrew Luck. 79 yards to the end zone. <laughs> Big Ben tried to take it himself. John Simon got him the next play too. You ain't going nowhere, Big Ben. Ah, dang it. What a throw from Big Ben. I could not get the safety up in time. Finesse their cover two to get into the end zone. Oh, they got all the space to run. Andrew Luck takes off again. <laughs> he is killing it on the ground today. Andrew Luck. Three plays in a row. He's in the end zone again. At this rate, we might as well never pass the ball again. Our rushing offense is way too good. Antonio Brown's got it. Had no success with man defense. To the corner. Do we really have no one there? All Madden is dotting me up in the end zone. Very difficult to contain. It's all good though. I love a good back and forth game. I'm enjoying myself. Last drive was all Andrew Luck, all on the ground. Don't know how long we can rely on that though, so we're gonna switch it up here. Jeremy Hill on the wheel route. That should be a first down. Corner strike time. Ah, gosh, I don't see it. We're gonna have to run it. Go, Andrew Luck. Again, he saves us with his speed. I'm trying to get us a touchdown while running out as much clock as possible. It's a little scary. Jeremy Hill. That's not a first down. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Costanzo has muscle cramps. You're staying in the game, bruh. I did not come this far to kick a field goal. I don't trust my defense because I suck at the game, so we're going to go for it. We got... I mean, we can run with it every single time with Andrew Luck. No worries about it, boys. Quarterback runs are my favorite thing to do in this game. Glad they're working out for us. Oh, God, don't fumble it. Oh, my... He just got assaulted. First down, and we could get the win. 69 with a beautiful block. The juke move. The touchdown. Jeremy Hill. We have not scored a passing touchdown all day, but we have ourselves four rushing touchdowns as a team. Oh, Martavius Bryant gave him the juke. Bring him down. They're on the 10-yard line. Ben Roethlisberger has 400 yards on the game. Antonio Brown has it, and that's a touchdown. They make this extra point. It's a tie ball game. We still have a minute and 15 seconds to drive down and score, though. We've got this. I see Paul Richardson. He's got a catch. We're in field goal range. That might do it. What you're about to witness is the worst clock management in Madden history. So you can see I call a timeout with 20 seconds left. You know, that's not a good idea because we're trying to save our last timeout for when we kick the field goal, right? Well, wasn't thinking in that scenario. And so at this point, I'm like, oh crap, I don't have any timeouts left. Or at least that's what I should have thought and gone ahead and kicked the field goal. Nope, here's what I did. You know what? Let's run the ball because, you know, that's a brilliant idea when you have no timeouts left. Kill some time and then kick it right after that because I felt like 20 seconds was plenty of time to kick a field goal. Wait until you see what happens. So I run the ball. 
and then I go to try to find my play, and at this point I realize my mistake. So I'm freaking out, shoot, looking for a play, and once I finally select it, I go on the field, and lo and behold, before I can get the kickoff, we get to the final seconds of the game, the clock hits zero, end of regulation, and I have not kicked my field goal yet. And thus concludes the most embarrassing, worst, cringeworthy clock management in Madden history. Feel free to roast me in the comments. Oh. My. God. We're going to overtime. Well, at least we won the toss. That was embarrassing. That's not what you wanted, but we still got a chance here. Marlon Mack with a beautiful return to start us off in overtime. Marlon Mack, why don't we just end it right here on this Wildcat play, why don't you? Haven't heard from you a lot today. That's a good block. T.Y. Hilton can save us right here. Woo! T.Y. Hilton looks like he beat him. It's going to be a double coverage. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to go out like this. We're going to go out on our own terms. Fake punt, baby. He overthrew him. Thankfully, it's intercepted farther downfield, though. So it's basically like a punt, I guess. Oh, I'm terrified. I blew this game all because I didn't kick the field goal. I hate my life. I have never been so embarrassed at a video game. I'm gonna roast myself in the comments. I'm disliking my own video. I'm blocking myself. Antonio Brown dropped it. He's on clutch. Don't know how he dropped it, but I am so happy. We have to get a defensive stop or we lose the game. We lose the playoffs. Our entire season will be done if we don't hold them off. John Simon rises to the occasion. Come on, gentlemen. One more stop. He's not open. He is not open. We got him. Henry Anderson seals it up. I have no idea why we are still in this game. I have played so poorly. <laughs> As we get tackled for a loss. I don't like this one bit. Both of those runs did not do anything for us. Come on, make some good reads. Make a good read. Paul Richardson drops it. I didn't, don't think I made a good read at all. I think I had a guy on the sideline. Fourth and 16. If you guys are cringing at home, I understand. But I, I feel so bad. We have to win this game. I will be in tears if we lose this. We just bunched up. We could got the sack right there. Oh, dear. Oh, that's that's going to be game. That's game. He juked me out. No, no safeties left. Our season is over. All because of a stupid mistake by me. Holy crap. That one is the most painful loss I have ever received in Madden history. Called the timeout when I wasn't supposed to. And now here we are. Could you imagine if I was a real coach? I'd be fired. Good thing this is just a video game. Well, Ben Roethlisberger had a perfect passer rating on the game. 24-29, 438 yards, 82% completion percentage, and four touchdowns. Andrew Luck was not that great passing. 10 of 20, 195 yards. We also had an interception with our fullback because we did try to go for that uh, fake punt there in overtime. Le'Veon Bell, 16 rushes, 87 yards, one touchdown. Jeremy Hill, he had 15 rushes, 44 yards, and a touchdown. Andrew Luck had an uh, incredible day rushing the football. 10 rushes, 168 yards, and two touchdowns. Michael Burton also picked up a touchdown in the first quarter. Martavis Bryant, two touchdowns, 173 yards. Jesus. Like I said, we had no passing touchdowns on the game. Really nothing happening in the passing game for us. Perry Riley in his first game back with us, he had nine tackles. Same with Jabril Peppers. They had both a very, very productive day. Kind of sad that I screwed up lost the game for us well i'm not gonna lie that was all a huge mistake by me but you know you gotta accept your mistakes when they happen and move on from them hopefully you guys at least got a chuckle out of it or something there's always something positive you can take out of every situation like i said in the beginning of the video we will do the live stream later on this week i'm thinking friday 
But once again, go follow me on Twitter. I will tweet all of that information out later on in the week. Oh, we get to hire some staff. Let's do that before we end the video. Well, it looks like this is very boring. You just offer them anything, and I know nothing about most of these guys. I guess we have to fire our coach before we can go looking for another hire. I'd like to make an offer to Andy Reid, but we have to fire somebody first. How the heck do you fire staff? I don't see anything here letting me know if I can fire Chuck Pagano or not. Well, I guess if you make playoffs, you don't really have an option to fire somebody. I know a lot of you Colts fans were looking for a release for me firing Chuck Pagano, but I don't think the game's going to give me an opportunity to do that. We did hire a trainer and a scout, but, but they look like complete dweebs and I know nothing about them, so that's not very interesting. But we can go check the Pro Bowl and see who made it. Well, none of us. No, okay, no running back. No fullback. No wide receiver. <laughs> did we have no one make the Pro Bowl? No one. Oh my goodness. That is upsetting. I thought we were better than that. Well, I guess that kind of proves to me I suck at this game and I need to play longer quarters next season. There was really no one else interesting left to scout, so I used all my points on no names. As you can see on the left side, these are all the draft picks we currently have. I want you to look at our draft board. Who should we target with our first round pick? Should we trade up for another pick? I'm thinking it's Russell Aubrey, the cornerback out of Ole Miss, but you guys let me know. Any general suggestions you got, please leave those in the comments below. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I cannot believe I choked that hard. Just a clear mental error. But uh, yeah, that happens sometimes. Just going to move on from it. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. I would say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in the live stream. Peace. Oh, Blake Bortles, that is really late hit. Great play from John Simon to step up, get that interception, and now we're back on top, 24-21.